A Clark Pleasant Middle School student and her family are suing the district for millions of dollars. That's right. The family told us the daughter was been the victim of racial bullying for years and the school has yet to address it. Fox 59's Mike Sullivan first broke this story in midday, mid-May that is. He joins us now in our newsroom with what this student has been dealing with. Mike? Well, Zonia Weaver is a black, lesbian, and adopted child. Her family says students have harassed her for all of the above, and they've even threatened to kill her. It's left her suicidal, secluded, and afraid to go to school. Deborah Weaver believed if she spoke up, her daughter Zonia would be safer. No, things got worse. In mid-May, she told us about racial bullying going on at Clark Pleasant Middle School. She ended up getting bullied in school the next day. Kids threatened to beat her and kill her that next day. Her family says this type of treatment has gone on for two years. The threats coming both at school and online, forcing Zonyel to hide at school. I told them, you're not protecting her. At times, the bullying has returned home. The family filing police reports as children taunt Zonyel from outside their New Whiteland home. As I've been told many, many times, this is called White Land. Zonyel has been through three psychiatric facilities and has attempted to commit suicide on numerous occasions. I've talked to the Dean of Students several times and she's always said that she is going to do something and never has. In a response, Clark Pleasant School Corporation says they promptly investigate all claims of bullying and take appropriate remedial action. Someone has got to make a stand for all kids and I'm doing it. Today, the Weaver family filed a lawsuit suing the district for $2.1 million. She had one kid on the bus, scream in her face, white life matter. James Lockwood is their attorney. They've shown them the Snapchat messages. Nothing was done. Clark Pleasant says even with all of their mental health resources and effort by staff, social media and student access to digital media outside of school can have a significant impact. They urge all parents to be mindful of that impact. The powerful thing about money is if you ask for enough of it, people start listening. What I want out of the lawsuit is for them to acknowledge that she has a right to an education. Well, we reached out to experts of law and public rights hoping to get an understanding of what a school is supposed to do in these situations. Unfortunately, we could not get anyone to go on camera. Clark Pleasant Schools should be getting an official filing of that lawsuit in the coming days. Back to you.